Hi, so today I just wanted to go over real quick on how I did a giraffe design for one of my clients. So here I'm going to use a Madame Glam Jelly Polish. It's Brave Orange, and I'll link that down in the description below. So I'm doing a giraffe print, but this client that I'm going to be doing it for tomorrow also really loves glitter and loves sparkle. So I chose this orange jelly so that I can add some glitter to it and the glitter won't get lost and then we're also going to have a color to it as well. Um, so I'm going to use Mandarin glitter from Young Nails. It's like a soft orange glitter with a little bit of yellow in it and I'm going to mix it here with this translucent jelly gel polish from Madame Glam. For your mixture, what I'm going for here, I want I want it to be a rather opaque product when I'm done. It can have a little bit of translucency, but basically I want it to be rather opaque. But I don't want it to be so thick to where it's just going to kind of like blob on our nail. So here I've put in some glitter and then you're going to see me add in a little bit more glitter because it's still a little bit too translucent for what I'm wanting. So I'm going to add a little bit more glitter to this so I kind of get more of a solid color kind of out of it. So you kind of want to just mix this to, to really kind of what you're looking for with this. Um, and I'm going to put this on top of a white nail. So I'm just getting everything mixed up here on my spatulas, getting it all lumped in one area. And then I'm going to put this on a white nail. So here I've already painted the nail white and I've used white swimsuit from Light Elegance is their P plus, P plus polish. And here I'm adding the base on top of this. So my idea here was because a giraffe print, it's not really, it's not really squares and it's not really blobs either. It's kind of like blobby squares. And if you look at the, at a picture of, of a giraffe in there fur, you're going to kind of see how it's, somewhat squarish and it sometimes triangularish but then it has like irregularities throughout it so I thought that with putting down this base it would kind of help that as I paint on the orange kind of help it move out a little bit and I didn't want it to move out quite as much as a blooming gel would I just kind of like a little bit um, so that's why I put a thin layer of the base on there I don't really think I would have needed that and when I ended up doing this the next day on the client um, I skipped the base for this step and I just put on flat matte and put the design on top of that so that the design would kind of stay the way that I put it on her nail and I ended up liking that a lot better but you could also do it kind of this way if you wanted some more organic irregularity throughout the the splotches of the color so here I'm just taking a small brush and putting on the print. And I have found that there are a few times where I want to leave a little bit more space between the orange blobs, kind of, um, just so that they don't kind of end up running together. And here I'm just kind of blobbing it out. I'm making sure to, to not make it too thick. Um, if we make it too thick, it's not really going to cure, especially with that glitter in there as well. It won't let the light penetrate all the way through to get a good cure. Um, so here I'm just adding on those blobs. I want to do the entire nail with this print on there. And I really love how the, the light picks it up, the, the orange and the yellow in that glitter. So it wasn't just a plain giraffe print. I want to separate out some of that orange a little bit more from the other orange like near it. So I've taken a silicone just tool and here I'm just kind of wiping that little section kind of away making more of a white space there wiping away some of the some of the gel and some of the glitter um, which is the silicone tool just kind of going in between 
widening up those spaces a little bit. If you can't get it all the way off with just kind of wiping it here, you could also add some alcohol to the silicone and use it with that. And then I'm just kind of wiping off the ex excess there on a mat. So I'm not putting it back on the nail. Because we want to have those spaces defined so that there is space, but you also don't want them too far apart. Because if you look on the giraffe, the, the, the colors are kind of close together, but you do see that definition of the lighter color, you know, breaking it up in between. But you don't want large gaps in there, but then you also don't want them so small to where they run together. So I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that and set that in the light. Now that that's done curing, I'm going to put on the top coat. Super shiny from Light Elegance. I love this top coat. I'm just going to put that on here. Really make sure you cover everything on this nail so that glitter stays in there and you get in between those lines so that you don't just kind of wipe over it and leave like any gaps in there. I usually also have a top coat set aside for glitter so that I'm not using something that might pick up glitter later as a top coat on another nail where there is no glitter. So that's just a tip. I'm going to let that cure. Now that it's cured, here's the finished product. You could also put two layers of top coat on here if you don't want to really feel that glitter as much or the, the separation of the sections. So a lot of times I will do two coats here I'm just showing it with one, and it's really pretty and sparkly, but you also see that color. It's beautiful. Client was very happy.